In this video, I'm going to take a look at how you would go about solving inequalities when you are given a graph. Um, and we've got two scenarios. You might be just given one quadratic, or you might be given a quadratic and a linear equation. From either one of these graphs, you can be asked a variety of questions. So for this first example, we'll take a look at this upside down quadratic. All right, the function name is f of x. All right, we can clearly see that it goes through um, the zeros of negative 2 and 3. Okay, so this first one, I need to solve this. It's wanting to know f of x is greater than 0. Okay, well, so where is this quadratic greater than 0 or above 0, above the x-axis? Okay, well, it is above the x-axis in between the x values of negative 2 and 3. Now, it does say greater than, it doesn't say greater than or equal to. All right, so that's your clue that you should be using curvy brackets with your interval notation if you're expressing your answer in interval notation. So, to solve f of x greater than 0, we would say open bracket, negative 2 to 3, open bracket. Okay, now part B, where is f of x less than or equal to 0? Where is it less than or equal to 0? Well, that means less than or below the x-axis. All right, so it is less than over here, and it is also less than over here. So the x values for which it is less than is negative infinity all the way up to negative 2, and then from 3 all the way to positive infinity. Positive infinity because, yes, <clears throat> this is moving down, but it is also moving right as well. <clears throat> and we want x values, not y values. With this being a less than or equal to part, it's got the equal to part. So we'll have to remember to use our square brackets on our interval notation because we want to include those values in this inequality. All right, so an answer here would be from negative infinity all the way up to negative 2. And I want to include that negative 2 because it's less than or equal to 0. Right at negative 2, it is equal to 0, so square bracket. Then we'll jump over and come over and do this section, square bracket 3, all the way up to positive infinity. Okay, now for this um, one over here, we've got a quadratic and we've got a linear equation. And the points of intersection there are indicated so that we can clearly see what they are. So on this one, solving this, well, where is f of x greater than g of x? All right, well, my f of x function is the blue line. The g of x function is the red line. So where is the f function above the g function? Well, it's going to be above all right in there. So from x values of negative 4 all the way over to 5. And again, it says greater than, so I want to remember, oh, I just need to use curvy brackets in my interval notation. So it is, the f function is greater than the g function for curvy bracket, negative 4 all the way up to 5, because we're choosing our x values here. All right, part b, where is the function less than or equal to the g function? All right, where is it less than or equal to the g function? Again, I'm going to remember that I need square brackets because of the equal to part. Where is the f function below the g function? Well, the f function would be below over here. All right, and this is a hand-drawn rough sketch of a parabola. So, yes, it is going down, but it is also going to the left as far as it possibly can. All right, so negative infinity all the way up to the x value of negative 4. And then where is the f function below the g function? Well, again, starting at x value of negative 5 and going on forever and ever and ever to positive infinity. So if we wrote that out, it would look like open bracket, negative infinity to negative 4, square bracket, and then pick it back up at 5 all the way up to positive infinity. All right, so there's just a couple of examples of taking a look at some inequalities, and if you were given a graph of them, how could you go about solving a variety of different um, inequalities that you might be given. Definitely thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.